Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the 16th video of VMware VCP 5.5 vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to do vMotion or the storage vMotion in VMware uh, so we have two options like vMotion and storage vMotion so, vMotion is basically a thing where we are moving one virtual machine from one ESX source to another ESX source which is called vMotion and storage vMotion is something moving the storage like hard drive which is connected with virtual machines from one data store to second data store or other data store so let's check some my uh, demo environment so as previously i am using one active directory domain controller which is my win 2 k 12 dc01 i have installed active directory and dns role on this server and my second server is my vcenter server on which i have installed my vcenter uh, vmware vcenter 5.5 here you can see i have logged in in v, vspare web client and also i have installed my vspare traditional client which is vspare client to manage the data center or uh, v, uh, vmware infrastructure so and i have two esx hosts which is esx01 and esx02 both are connected with my vcenter server and i have a virtual machine which is running on my esx2 and if you want to check out from here also vsphere client two host and one virtual machine so and my learn on my physical machine i have installed v uh, starwind application which is providing learn to my servers here you can see three learns to my both esx host esx1 and esx2 if you want to check out here it is go to select any of the host go to configuration on storage you can see we have two learns there learn 0 learn 1 and learn 2 so total 3 learn and 1 local storage with attached with both the ESX host so so let's do type of vMotion as discussed a vMotion is something like moving the virtual machine from one host to another host which is known as change host which is also known as vMotion and changing data store which is uh, you can say storage vmotion move the virtual machine storage to another data store so i'm going to do first uh, this one change host which is known as vmotion so my host my virtual machine went to k8 server 01 which is running on my host 02 so i am going to to move this machine to my second esx uh, first esx host so just right click and I have configured everything like networking and everything which is required uh, for moving the virtual machine from one host to another host so click on migrate so here is the first option change host move the virtual machine to another host click next and select any of the host it will like check the compatibility validation success so currently my machine is running on ESX2 so I want to move this on ESX1 on same time I want to just let you know like my virtual machine is configured IP address with 192.168.1.241 and if you click here you can see it's configured with and I just want to show you latency which is like between moving the virtual machine from one host to another host if we get any RTO or any network fluctuation for the virtual machine or not so it's pinging like constant in uh, it's like replying on 1ms and now I'm going to move it to my first host ESX01 and here's the option host priority or standard priority so high priority like you can say high priority vmotion are like something which requires on so as you can see high priority is recommended so just go with the default one high priority recommended click next and here you can see host on which we are moving resource pool and data store current location and vmotion priority high priority so click on finish 
and now you can see a migrate virtual machine is running and the same time you can see the 14 percent migrate uh, like it's migrating step by step and you can see some latency there and it will give some latency but I don't think it pro it will give you any RTO or any network outage for this virtual machine it will constantly available for users or whatever services are running on this on the virtual machines so here you can see we are done with migration virtual machine has been moved to our ESX one you can see and if I can click control close you can see we have no lost packet uh, for single packet while migrating virtual machine from ESX2 to ESX1 and also you can see the few times between migration I have very small delay here 1070 ms and after this you can see 1 ms which is average time for applying virtual machine so we are done with this and now I'm going to change the data store now for now you can see the virtual machine is residing on my learn one so I just want to move this virtual machine from learn one to learn zero if you go on select the host and configuration storage I am I'm just managing by sorting by size so I have free space available on my learn zero so if you check here is my hard drive size 40 GB so I can move this virtual machine in my learn zero learn zero have around 60 GB free so just click on machine right click and migrate and we have option change data store so from one I'm going to move it to zero learn zero click next and here you can see and I'm going to select learn zero which have 60 GB free validation success click next and you can see data store this time learn zero host is the same location data store I'm going to change vmotion priority default priority and disk storage same format as source so click on finish and now you can see relocating virtual machine is running here and it's I'm going to ping let them uh, ping once again so we can check the latency if uh, there was any outage for virtual machine during this storage vmotion vmotion so it's running now twenty three percent completed so it will take some time because like it's depend storage vmotion depends on the bandwidth of your uh, vmotion traffic because it's like something moving all the storage of virtual machine around foot it's uh, in this task it will copying it will require to copy 40 GB data which is hard drive from this location to uh, like you can say move 40 GB data from learn 1 to learn 0 which is our targeted learn so here it's like moving the data from here learn 1 to learn 0 so it's required some time because like it's depend on the bandwidth of your vmotion traffic so just give it some time so now you can see relocate virtual machine is completed and now just I want to check the fluctuation yes we we did lost one packet here but it's not something like outage with the virtual machine or any services which is running on server so it's good to know and here you can see now we have only 18 GB free free space on learn zero on which we have just moved the virtual machine so it's good and the last one is option change both host and data store so if I click on virtual machine from vSphere client right click and then migrate 
here you can see the virtual machine must be powered off to change this so it's grayed out and let's do it from web client mm, just log off and log in back so I have logged in back to my v web client vSphere web client click on host and cluster here is my virtual machine right click on it and just click on migrate here it is so we have option change both host and data store select click next and we have option to move the virtual machine from host 1 to host 2 so I am going to move it to my ESX2 next and here is the data store I want to move my virtual machine to learn 0 click next and I am going to select the recommended option reserve CPU for optimal vMotion performance click next and here is the information what we are going to perform in this task and click on finish so here is the status relocate virtual machine so after this it will move the virtual machine from ESX1 to ESX2 and for the data store it will move the data store virtual machine from data store like in uh, currently it's using the learn 0 and it will move to learn 1 so here the, also you can see 30 percent is completed on vSphere web client vSphere client and on the vSphere web client is showing the same so let's just give it some time so it's like seven approx 70 percent is completed so allow some more time so here we are machine has been migrated to ESX02 completed just give some more seconds VI it's also done cleanup after migrating virtual machine is running now so here you can see machine is moved to learn, Z learn from learn 0 to learn 1 and the relocated is also done for the virtual machine so we are done with this so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please give me uh, please post in my given mail id thank you once again bye bye